All right, we are here at Little Mill Campground in American Fort Canyon, and this place is a gem right up here in all this awesome green foliage. It is awesome. It is right next to the road, as you can see behind me, but it does have a river that runs right next to it, which actually masks the sound of the road a bit. Now, especially at night, you're not really going to hear very many vehicles as well, but that nice river sound is so soothing, so I really enjoy it. If you're not from Utah, just remember that this is bear country and at the moment we're still practicing social distancing because of COVID-19. What'd you find? Where? Where's the bugs? Oh, really fully. Okay. This is a nice little campground right next to this river. Not a huge river, but pretty decent sized stream slash river for American Fork. And we're hoping there might even be some fish in there, but we'll see. Now, we do have the little ones here, so trying to keep a close eye on them, make sure they're not falling in there, of course. So if you have little ones, just be aware that when you're coming up here, it's something to uh, keep in mind for making sure that they're safe. And here we are in site number seven. Interesting site because the picnic table, fireplace, everything is kind of close to site number six. And if you see here site number six, they've got a converted cargo trailer camper. Anybody remember the old 12 foot 12 volt? Might have to go over there and say hi to them. And these four, possibly five, I think it's four sites though, are kind of right by each other. Not too close though. And right here, there is a bathroom. Look how dirty that truck is. Holy cow, it needs a car wash. Let's go down and cook up some hot dogs, have some dinner. Say cheese. <laughs> so we are here with Mr. Jackman and he has just cooked the most perfect more. Which I already kind of took a bite of. How did it taste? Oh, yeah. you better take another bite of it then if it yeah. was that delicious. Yeah. Tastes like some more. Okay. Now that it's night and the campfire is roaring, you know it's time for some scary stories. And this one hits home for this campground's home here in American Fort Canyon. As the story goes, there's a hitchhiker that haunts those leaving the canyon late at night. No one knows who the hitchhiker is. No one knows where they're going, just that they appear on the road and when gone to get picked up, mysteriously disappear. Some say it has to do with the cemetery in the canyon as they're trying to get away from it. But that's the mystery. Ah! What was that?
Well, good morning in late May, and surprise, surprise, there is snow up there, or something similar to snow, and coming down on us right now, it's not quite snowflakes that are coming down on us, but it is bouncing off the ground. So as you can see here, this speed test is not going to work. There is no service. I have Verizon Wireless and there's just nothing. So if you are coming here, no service. Anybody looking for a summer home? Treehouse version. Well, what we've stumbled upon here is the anchors for climbing. There's actually two sets of them. One here and it has a couple anchors up higher that uh, don't look like this route goes all the way to the top of the rock. And as we come around to the other side, We've got another anchor here and a little bit higher. And this one doesn't look like it goes all the way to the top either. The rock does go up pretty high and curves in, so I don't think any route on here will go all the way to the top, but there's a trail to the side that looks like you could try. So who knows, that rock behind me might just be something that uh, brings us back to this campground to do some rock climbing. That'd be fun. Now one of the reasons we came up here this weekend was to go to the Timpanogos Cave on the cave tour here at the Timpanogos Cave National Monument. And of course, uh, COVID-19, coronavirus made it so that they're not doing the cave tours. At the moment, the trail up to it is open, but uh, no dice on this one. So I'm thinking we'll have to make another trip up here and do some rock climbing as well as the cave tour. We can take y'all on those adventures. All right, let's bring in these fishing poles. Doesn't look like there's anything on them though. Pink one first, of course. Oh yeah, I got a big one on that. Big spinner. Bring in Jack's pole here. Actually, this one's less than pole. I got something. Some sort of foliage on that. What is that? That looks like I got somebody else's hook. That's what happened. <laughs> I caught something. Now, I suppose there's a possibility that there's some brook trout in here somewhere, but you know, this is probably seasonal runoff, no runoff. I'm thinking not so much. I'm caught underneath of a rock down here. There we go. There's that spinner. So, not it. Join us on another adventure. Catch you another time. See ya.